When an old building is demolished or a worn-out road makes way for new construction, have you ever wondered what happens to all that leftover concrete? Those gray slabs aren't just left sitting in landfills. They're about to embark on a new mission. The reality is that concrete makes up nearly 50% of construction waste in major cities. In the United States alone, about 300 million tons of concrete waste are produced each year. And worldwide, that number can reach billions of tons. Imagine this. Instead of going to waste, these concrete blocks are crushed into smaller pieces, carefully screened and treated, then transformed back into building material. They're not just forming new roads, but also helping to conserve resources and ease the environmental burden. In this video, you'll see every step in concrete's revival journey, from massive crushers to advanced filtration technology, all working together to create a sustainable cycle of rebirth. Not only does recycling concrete help reduce waste, but it also has significant resource-saving benefits. To produce new concrete, we have to extract stone, sand, and cement. This process not only consumes energy, but also releases a large amount of CO2, contributing to the greenhouse effect. Statistics show that every year, the world produces about 5 billion tons of cement with the cement industry contributing around 8% of global CO2 emissions. Each ton of recycled concrete can save hundreds of kilograms of CO2 compared to producing new concrete. Thus, a highway project using thousands of tons of recycled concrete will significantly reduce emissions, equivalent to planting tens of thousands of trees, One of the biggest benefits of recycling concrete is cost savings. Using recycled concrete can reduce costs by 20 to 30% compared to using new concrete. For large projects like highways, the savings can reach millions of dollars. These savings not only reduce construction costs, but also free up funds for other projects. For example, a 10 kilometer highway project using recycled concrete can save around two to three million dollars compared to using all new concrete. The process begins with collecting concrete debris from demolition sites. Each large building can generate 1,000 to 2,000 tons of concrete waste. After collection, the concrete is transported to a recycling plant where it undergoes a strict sorting process. A magnetic separator is a powerful and useful device, helping to remove magnetic impurities like steel. Without this equipment, remaining steel bars could damage the crusher and reduce the quality of the recycled concrete. Magnetic separators have a precision rate of up to 98%, removing almost all leftover steel. Additionally, wood and plastic, which are also undesirable materials, are sorted out during this stage. Concrete is crushed into particles ranging in size from 20 to 30 millimeters for base layers and 10 to 15 millimeters for pavement layers. A crusher can process up to 500 to 600 tons of concrete daily, ensuring a continuous supply of recycled concrete.
Crushing concrete is really heavy duty work. Imagine that this crusher can crush even the largest concrete blocks, like the superhero of the construction industry. After crushing, the concrete is screened to ensure uniform size. Oversized particles are sent back to the crusher while the particles meeting standards move on to the next step. The mixture is passed through a magnetic separator again to remove any remaining magnetic materials and the concrete is cleaned with water. By the end of this process, we have concrete ready to be used as building material. To ensure the durability and high quality of recycled concrete, the crushed concrete is mixed with new cement, sand, stone, and water at a precise ratio. Depending on technical requirements, the proportion of recycled concrete in the mix can vary from 20% to 50%, combined with virgin cement and aggregates to create new concrete. Concrete is commonly used for road base layers. This base layer helps distribute load, increase road durability, and create a stable surface. After the concrete has been thoroughly mixed and quality checked, it is transported from the mixing station to the construction site by mixer trucks. These trucks typically have capacities from 6 to 10 cubic meters to ensure the concrete doesn't separate or lose moisture during transport. During transport, the drum on the truck rotates continuously at a low speed, around 2 to 6 rotations per minute, to ensure the concrete doesn't harden before reaching the site. Once on site, the concrete is poured into pre-prepared molds along the road's route. These molds are usually sized to fit the highway width, typically 3.5 to 4.5 meters per lane. After pouring, a grater smooths the concrete surface to achieve the desired thickness. The thickness of highway concrete layers typically ranges from 20 to 30 centimeter, depending on the load-bearing requirements of the road. To create compaction and a stable structure for the road surface, a vibratory roller is used. This roller can weigh between 10 to 15 tons, ensuring the concrete is uniformly compacted with no air voids. After compaction, the concrete surface is treated to create texture, which enhances road grip and reduces slipperiness for vehicles. A texture machine is used to create small grooves on the surface. These grooves, typically three to five millimeter deep, are made either horizontally or diagonally to optimize drainage and grip. After pouring and finishing the surface, the concrete requires a curing period to reach its optimal hardness and durability. Curing may take from seven to 28 days, depending on weather conditions and technical requirements. Recycling concrete on a large scale is no easy task. Transportation and impurity processing costs are considerable challenges. Another challenge in recycling concrete is ensuring material consistency. Concrete recovered from different projects often has varying composition particle size and strength. This makes it difficult to create a recycled concrete mix with stable, uniform quality. Uneven particle size can affect the density of the concrete, while variations in chemical composition can reduce the strength and durability of the structure. To address this issue, careful sorting and processing steps are required, along with appropriate concrete mixing formulas to ensure uniformity in the final product. By using recycled concrete, we not only save costs, but also contribute to the goal of sustainable construction.
For every kilometer of highway, recycled concrete helps reduce tons of CO2 emissions, conserve natural resources, and create a sustainable foundation for the future. We've seen that old worn out concrete can be reborn and become a part of modern roads. Every time you drive on a highway, remember that it may have been created from the legacy of the past, a wonderful example of the life cycle of building materials. Thank you for watching this video. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next videos. Goodbye, and see you next time.